Hey what's up guys? Today we're taking a look at Assassin's Creed Valhalla and I'm really excited for this one. Um, yeah, it's not just one package, it's not just two packages, it's three full packages. So let's get them. This one here. So what I think they have done is that they have shipped the uh, game, or the game I doing one of these two light packages. The other one will have the um, the hidden blade because I ordered a hidden blade of this game, and the heaviest of packages I think will be the collector's edition, um, and we'll have the statue and art book and everything. So yeah, let's open them up. I was planning to use the access, but I'm uh, I don't want to break these things in here. So. <laughs> This is going to be the hidden blade, for sure. Let's get that paper off. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Nice. Let's get you out of the way for a sec. As I showed you, nice Assassin's Creed Valhalla up front. The hidden blade picture on the back. And up front the hidden blade as well. Very nice. Let's open this sucker up. This piece of paper stuck on my finger. Mm -mm -mm. Let's have a look. Shall we? Oh boy. Pretty big, Jesus. <laughs> would you look at that? My god, would you look at that fur? Little fluffy fur there. Nice. Now let's get this fucker on, ain't it? This thing should be able. Two. Let me see. Shoot. Yep, spring loaded. Very nice. The hidden blade activates when you push this button. Doesn't activate if you don't release the safety, which is hidden in the back here. It's a little knob. Now it's activated. I don't know if you hear that click. And then it shoots out the blade. Very nice. I'll show that close later. Let's first unbox everything. Now this I think will have the normal edition of the or like the ultimate edition of the game, but like just the C D and nothing else I think. A second hidden blade. I did not see that one coming. Um, I ordered one of them. So I don't know why I got two. But sweet. <laughs> okay. The ugly part of the box. Don't care about that. Ooh. 
on top we are greeted with the game and a little satchel. I wanna, wanna see what's in there. I actually don't know what's in there, so that's uh oh it's very nice and soft that satchel. Oh really cool. Okay. Um I'm gonna take pictures of everything and show it up real close. I hope you can see that. It's a little statue with a like the main protagonist, the nice raven on his shoulder. Very nice. Uh yeah, I'm just uh I'm gonna take pictures later. Oh I love that satchel. Feels really nice. The game itself of course. Very nice, with season pass and everything. Some plastic. Oh, would you look at that. It's hard to see, but like the print on this is nice. But the print on this, whew, I can tell you that is a high quality print. That is an expensive printing matter they use up here. That looks really nice. Let's get this bad boy out. Um, this is the top. Let me open it from the bottom and slide it out. I think that will be preferable. I think that will be the safest way to do this. When I saw the art of this box, I thought it was going to be as big as the um, ship, uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. <laughs> uh, I thought it was going to be like this box, but um, as you can see it's quite a bit smaller. <laughs> uh, so I'm a little surprised, still very very happy because this looks very nice. Back on the shelf you go. Okay, I'm gonna need make really need to make room on my SS Creed shelf there, uh, which is getting pretty full. Let me turn it around so I can show you what's going on here. Oh, oh, oh! That raven on the back. Very nice. All right. Oh my, it's the steelbook and God, would you look at that. Okay. I said the printing on the box was nice. This thing, holy cow. Oh, I hope you can see that. I will take pictures for sure. But damn, this is beautiful. Jesus Christ. Let's take a look at the inside as well. Very hard to see with a small print in there, which looks very nice. But the outside, oh, very, very sick. I will get to the game later. The soundtrack. Definitely gonna put this on my phone so I can listen to it. Um, because I have to travel a lot to my work, and this is really nice. I've got pretty much all the other Assassin's Creed soundtracks on my uh, phone already. Um, and another, I love other game soundtracks to which I listen when I'm on the bus or in the train. So, very nice. I think it's just the main event now. It's this statue. Um, she seems to be facing this way. I think I'm going to have to pull her out that way so you can see her come up. Okay, let me put her down. And before I get to the statue, I see something else. So I want to show that first. Okay, putting the box down for now. Oh god. How do I open this carefully?
two things in there. I can see it. Oh, comes out. Ooh, a very nice Assassin's Creed themed envelope. So first, no, don't stick to it. I don't want glue on it. Ooh, <laughs> this it's printed on nice thick cardboard. Very, very nice feeling. The collect edition and the number, which one I have. Um, very, very nice. That's looking really good. Too bad my room is pretty much full already. Yeah, that wall is not full, but pretty much the rest is full already. <laughs> Otherwise, I would hang this up so we can look at it. Um, um, where am I going to put all this? Jesus. I'm going to have to set my camera back in a bit. Jesus Christ. Let's take a look at this envelope. Oh, I don't want to scratch these beautiful cards. Some nice landscape here. Oh boy. Two of them stuck. Ooh, that one looks even better. Oh, I hope you can see that. Definitely taking pictures because then you can see it a lot better in a lot more detail and a lot more beauty. Because on video that's always very, very difficult. And some Vikings either coming back or going on. A raid, very nice. Oh, they have a description of what it is on the back. Or like, I think so. Or maybe the person who made it, never mind. Ooh! And this is very sick, okay. If you hold the three cards, just a little staggered, you get the entire thing because separate they are just like this <laughs> but together they are very very nice I like that okay putting them safely back into that envelope for now because most of you who came here for the collector's edition unboxing came here for the main event the statue itself of course oh god I can't close this okay I'll close it in a, <laughs> in a sec I still need it open for the pictures anyway the statue. Um, I think I'm gonna zoom you in for this. All right. Oh. I hope that's all the tape. No, it's not. I hope that's all the tape now. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. No, my raven boy. No fault. Okay. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, we've got everything. We shoot half everything. That's uh. Oh boy, I'm. How am I gonna get this accent? Sorry, missus. This feels a li little bit. Very sick. Now, the question is where's the raven supposed to go? Uh, oh. oh. I see, I see, I see. It's supposed to go in here. I think. Is that supposed to be like that? I sure hell hope so. That looks really sick. Oh boy. I'm definitely zooming you in more. I think it's time uh, to make some better pictures and everything. Uh, first, let's give you a full frame with everything we got in here. All right, that's everything that's in the collector's edition. Um, except for the two hidden blades and the two axes of course <laughs> these two axes are made by Danix which is a company that makes replicas of historical weapons 
Um, the two hidden blades are sold separately per one, <laughs> even though I accidentally got two, um, which is super super neat. Um, they're all plastic by the way. I'm just going to give you some b-roll footage of the statue um, and then I will move over to the pictures of whatever is inside the collector's edition and the hidden blades and stuff like that. Um, and that will pretty much be this video, so enjoy it. I will be much uh, talking during this. I will, just, I will let you enjoy the footage and if you don't enjoy it, just go do something else. Go do something you do enjoy. Uh, stay safe everyone, even in these hard times. Um, and see you in the next one.